Okay, today let's start with focusing on your breathing. So we'll close your fists, straighten your back, and close your eyes. All right, we're gonna breathe in for four seconds. You're gonna hold it for four seconds. You're gonna breathe out for four seconds. We'll start with that, All right? So breathe in, hold it, and then breathe out. Make sure you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. In. Out. In. Out. Okay, from here, let's start with the tennis of Taekwondo. Repeat after me. Courtesy. Courtesy. Integrity. Integrity. Perseverance. Perseverance. Self control. Self control. Indomitable spirit. Indomitable spirit. From here, let's go through your boom state in your own time. Okay, so either one, two, or three, or beginners. Ready, tight, connect. You say Jumbi, on your own time. She up. Ha! Ha! Okay, very good. From here, open your eyes. Okay, so let's stand up and continue. When you guys are done with your pussy, or if you're going to adjust the uniforms, just. Okay, that should be enough time for everyone. Facing forward. Two. And then let's start with jumping up. Now, third, seven, yeah, that's up, yes, sir. Here you go. Third, I hope you'll be up your knees. Yeah. Okay, check out your legs from here. Put your right leg in front of you. Okay, from here, let's reach down to your right leg. Now, set, net, tessa, yes, up, pick up, get up, out, yo, switch. Okay, side by side, turn your foot sideways and bend your knee, dipping your hips. Now, third, set, net. Yes, up, 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 yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, we go. You there? Aho. You backwards. Na. You work. Set. Na. Let's also do our ankles from here. You're gonna lift up your foot and you're gonna move your heel in circles one way. Na. Do. Set. Na. That's up. Then go other way. Yes up. You go. You there? Aho. You change legs. Na. Do. Set. Na. The way. Okay, very good. Check out your legs, check out your hands. From here, let's start doing a little bit more dynamic stretching. We're going to start with first, okay, knee up and tuck it in, and then you're going to go into a lunge position. So you're going to grab your knee and bring it down afterwards, and lunge, and then you're going to step back. So make sure when you do your lunge, your heel is coming up off the ground. All right, just a quick reminder. Let's do a set of 10. Ready? 
하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, and you. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna separate your legs, make them a little bit wider from here. You're gonna lift up your toes on one side, you're gonna sit to one side into a hamstring chest position, and you're gonna come up, and you're gonna switch. So we're gonna do this 10 times, going side to side, ready? And now, three, seven, net, pass up, yes up, you go, you do it. Aho, and you. Good, shaking up your legs, your hands, Okay, from here, we're going to do a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. We're going to go through bear push-ups. So, from here, remember, knees straight, reach down, walk forward, push up, walk back, and stand up. Okay, so if you can, if you find that you can touch the ground with your feet together, widen your legs until you can touch the ground, right? This is the stretch first. An exercise second. So we'll do this one. Okay, this time. Sorry? Ten, yes. Check out your hands and your legs. Get to uniform if you need to. Catch your breath. Okay, from here we're going to go into setup position. We're going to start doing some core first today. Okay. So to warm up, let's start with the basic set of 20 setups, and then we'll do some variations after. Okay. So turn me, turn you, right turn me, let's go. So you duck, now, two, set, net, pass up, yes up, you go, you do it, aho, you do too hard for you, but try to keep them as straight as you can. You're going to have your hands together, you're going to twist your shoulders, and twist the ground side to side. This one's a little easier for count, so we're going to do 30. Okay, ready, Lee. Straight. Is one way you want to, or is one? One, two, three, four. Okay, so to begin, remember, keep your feet off the ground, try to balance, and twist your shoulders while you touch the ground, okay? So, let's do 30. Legs up, see ya. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Na, dur, set, net, kaso, kaso, kiko, 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 Very good. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do some leg raises. So from here, Right legs up the ground, hands behind you, raise your feet, and bring your head forward. When you drop your legs, bring your head back. Right, do your best to balance. So if you can, try not to use your hands. So you can do it without your hands on the ground like this. 
It's better. But if you have to for balance, put your hands down. We're going to do a set of 20. Ready? Legs up and shoot up. No. Two. Set. Neck. Hasa. Yosa. Yugo. Yuro. Aho. Yo. Na. Two. Set. Neck. Very good. Okay, we're going to do a variation of this one with a single leg, but we're going to start from a different position. So this one, it looks like you're putting your body in a star. You're going to lie down with your legs apart and your hands in here. So it looks like you're a big star. Okay, you're going to raise your leg, you're going to come up with your opposite hand. Put your leg and come down. So it's one, two, we're gonna do also 20. Okay? So remember, raise your foot up, bring your head up, and twist your body to the side. Coming up like this. I mean, I see to see from the side angle, it'll be like this. So leg up and come on. We'll do it together. Up, down, up and down. I'll stay here right now. Pass that way. Ready? And 10 for me, 10 for Kathy. She jumped. Now, three, set, net. How so? Yes, sir. Here you go. Yes, sir. Oh, you. some leg exercises. You can fix your uniform if you need to. Okay, let's start with some basic squats. We'll start with a set of 20 and then we'll do some variations. Ready? She jump. No. Do it. Set. Then. Pass up. Pass up. You go. You're done. Oh, you. Now, two, three, 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 to one side and go as low as you can and go in okay so it's like you're doing a squat on that leg right it's like this over the leg out okay so basically open up your legs sit down towards that side and bring your hands forward for balance so that you don't fall backwards when you drop your hips like this all right so go as low as you can Okay, we're gonna do a set of 10 first and see what we can do. If it's not so bad, we'll do another 10. Okay, ready? Compete together. This side first. Let's go, ready? And now. Three. Set. And then. Pass up. Pass up. Here you go. Go there. Aho. Good. Let's do ten more. Come on. Good. Set. Net. That's up. That's up. Here you go. Another. Now hold. There. Very good. You got your legs. Take your session, catch your breath, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, let's move on to push-ups. Okay, from here, let's start with a big six set of 20, and then we'll try some harder ones after that. Get ready on your own time, no, by my count, sir. Ready, she jumps. No. Three, set, 
ne, esat, esat, ilgo, jedan, a, ho, jo. Na, dur, se, ne, tada, jezat, ilgo, jedan, a, ho, jar. Very good. Just play your hands. Okay, next one we're going to try today, we're going to go for some wide push-ups again. This is the best way to build up shoulder strength. So for this one, we've done this a few times, but let's go over it again to make sure our technique is correct. So hands and line, we do shoulders, but about one and a half times your shoulder width, right? So keep it wide. Okay, keep your head up and lower your chest this way, right? While keeping your body straight. We'll do today 15, okay? Bit more than four. So I'll count to 10, count to 5. Okay, ready? So you do that. Da, 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 Today, to prepare for tricep push-ups, we're going to do what's considered to be a bad push-up, but this is a different exercise called a tricep extension. So you're going to have your hands in front of your head, your feet behind you, you're going to lower your elbows down into the ground and bring it back up. Okay, so we can start training our triceps before we do a proper tricep push-up. So, have your hands in front of your head, right? So your objective, instead of lowering your body, is to lower your elbows to the ground, okay? So if you're not sure about how to do this, take a second and try a few on your own. It should look like this. Give your hands together, right? You lower your elbows and then bring them back up. Well, keep your body off the ground. If you have a little bit of trouble with stability, you can widen your legs while you do this. So try and do this one a little bit slower. We'll just go with a set of 10 to start with, okay? Ready? Now, do it. Set. Net. That's it. Yes, sir. Here go. Here then. Out. Yo. You good? At home, you guys might notice that one elbow will start to go up at a time while you do this. Try not to break the technique so that you're having equal weight on both of your hands at the same time. Otherwise, you're making it a little bit too easy for yourself. Okay, from here, we're also going to try 10 tricep push-ups, so the proper one. So if you're unsure for this one or you don't have the strength for this one, uh, Kathy, you can show them the example sideways. So going down and up. Okay, good. So for this one, make sure your elbows are tucking as tight as possible. Try to have your elbows going up to your body. All right. So for this one, if your hand position is wrong, your elbows will be touching the ground, like what we did before. You don't want your hands in front of your face. You want to have your hands in line with your shoulders so that your elbows can go backwards instead of going downwards. Okay, so have your hands a little lower this time. Let's start from the position. All right, let's just do a simple set of 10 by my count. Ready? Three, jump. And ah, do it. Set, net, pass up, yo, sir. You go, you do it. I hope you. Okay, so I'll take your time. We'll wait for you guys, give you a few seconds to finish up. In the meantime, if you're already done, catch your breath. Shake out your arms. And here, when you're done, you can stand up. Just uniform. Face and forward. Tip. Good day. Very good job, everyone. Let's get some water and come back. Okay, let's begin. Face and forward. Tip. Good day. Okay, so we're going to go to beginners, from say, all the way up to from say, number three. So, Kathy will first show you demonstrate beginners, from say. 
Let's do it facing this way today. Terry, in there. Who said you're me? You got to follow along the beginner's boom say. Make sure you go to the left side first. Now, third, set, net, pass up, yes up, go, go, third, out, yo, now, third, cut, but up. Jump. Okay, so uh, we're going to quickly go over some of the basic rules for Kumse. Right, to make sure that you guys don't mix up which hand and legs to use, remember, low block, your hand and leg should be on the same side. When you do middle block, your hand and leg should be on the different side, right? So left hand, right leg, right hand, left leg. You don't want to have the same one for this one, say. For head block, you want your hand and leg to be the same again. Okay, and now the next thing we have to remember is that whichever hand we use to block, the other hand must punch. So if I block with my right hand, I'm not gonna go and punch again. It's always gonna be with the opposite side. I'm gonna switch my hand whenever I do the punch. Okay, so don't use the hand twice. Okay, let's see if we get to say again. This time I cut these all the time, try to follow along with her. Three, four, two, then they come say to me. And this time step forward about two steps. Okay, on your own time, the gear is going to say she attacked. I can hear you. Okay, very good. We're going to go through Kumse number one this time by Kathy's count. Okay, but first let's quickly talk about one thing. Right? Make sure when you guys are doing this Kumse, every time you're going left and right, your stance is going to be walking stance. So keep it small. Every time you go forward and back, your stance is going to be forward stance. Okay, so it's going to be significantly longer. So forward and back, the stance, forward stance has to be about three and a half feet long. So from here, one, two, three and a half, and then bend your knee and turn your back leg more forward than sideways. Okay, so if I see this for forward stance, this is incorrect, right? Make sure your back leg is facing more towards the direction you're going. Okay, so that's this way and this way, you're gonna have that forward stance. Okay, so by by count, count. Count, 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 Yes, ma'am. Come in. Who number one to be? On my count, Two. Thing we're going to know about Kumsi number one landing after the kick, you have to make sure that you land in you know, a walking stance. So, in order to do that, we have to keep our back straight when we kick. When I'm kicking, I don't want to lean forward, otherwise, I'm going to land forward. All right, so, do your best when you're kicking to keep your back straight and then land small. Okay, so let's see this by instructor. <laughs>
Very good. All right, facing number two. Okay, first let's go through it by my count. Ten. Six. Can they? Three. I might count. Two. Two. Nine. Third. So make sure that first punch is going to your body level. Set. Net. Going to the front. It's going to be middle. Nine. Third. From here to the side. We'll block again. Nine. You're going to go into that front kick. Make sure your punch after this goes to your mouth level. Hana! Other side, same thing. Third. Set. Net. Pass up. From here, when you spin around, make sure you step behind. Okay, so step behind, turn around, with your hand, and then walk. Let's see, cut it. Hana! Very good. Other side, same thing. Boom. Set. From here, make sure all of your landings are in walking stance. Now. Boom. Set. Set. Final. So. Okay, so let's see the same thing on her own time. Okay, for this one, try to make your walking stances and your forward stances very clear. So walking stance is small, forward stance is much bigger. Okay, try to have good control over your landings and your stances. Ready to be? On your own time, take a two, she jump. Say number three. Okay, for this one, because we're doing with double punches now, make sure that when we're setting our hands, it always comes from our waist. You may have noticed, right, whenever I throw a punch, I bring my shoulders slightly back and I raise my other hand before I punch. Okay, so you also do that in the air when you're kicking. So if I'm going from low block to a front kick, my hand's coming in for the kick, my hand sets, and then I land for the double punch. Okay. So this is the habit we're going to try to go through in Jose number three. When are you ready? Let's go. Yes, ma'am. So a few things to remember, whenever a block follows a kick, right, your set positions have to still stay the same. Okay, so that means if I have to start a kick, hands up. If I have to do a low block following a kick, my hands have to go to the same position in the air, and I time my landing with my block. Right, so the same way, when you need to do a punch following a kick, chamber your hand. When you need to do a kick following you need to do a block following a kick, sorry. You need to set your hand where it's going to go, all right? So do your best to slow down your landing. So you don't want to kick and then land straight away. You want to kick, prepare your block, right? And you want to time your landing 
with your bar. Naturally, you don't want to take too long, like I just did, right? But you want to slow it down just enough so that you can time your landing with your block like this. Kick, set, block, punch. Okay, so give yourself enough time, right, by keeping your balance on a single leg and slowing down your landing. Okay, so let's try and see that on my own time. Let's take a quick water break from here, and then we're going to come back and work on kicking. Tip, can they? Good job, everybody. Okay, so we're going to go through basic kicking today. So first thing we're going to go through is the front kick. Okay, so the first kick we're going to go through, the front kick, the positioning for your foot is going to look like this. Your foot needs to have your foot flexed and your toes need to be curled back, okay? So this is not a natural position for your foot. Not everyone can do this automatically. Let me go a little closer to show you that again. So my leg, my foot has to be foot down, but my toes have to be curled back at the same time, right? One analogy I've heard um, some girls use is that like you're wearing high heels, <laughs> right? I wouldn't know, but that's an analogy that people use, right? It's like you're standing on the ball of your feet only, your heels, are off the ground. So this same position is the position that you would kick in for a front kick, okay? So in order to practice that position of your leg, right, you can practice it in two ways. Number one, right, by lifting up your heel and putting your weight on the ball of your foot. You're going to try to freeze your leg in that position, so flex your leg in that position, and try to lift it up so that your toes stay back while you lift up your leg. So it's going to look like this. One, two, and then from here, Three, practice the kick as well. Okay, so we're gonna try that a few times and then we're gonna go through the kick, right? From the lift, right? So the thing you're gonna try to get used to is that as you lift up your leg, your heel comes up and you automatically go into that position. But first, let's start with this. Heel up, knee up, kick, pull it back and come down. Let's try this out, ready from here? Up, knee up, kick, pull it back, come down. Okay, let's try it. Ready? One, two, three, four. Let's keep on with it, shall we? Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here, let's change our legs. Try the same thing. Ready? Up. One, two, three, and four. Up, two, Three, uh. four, again, one, two, three, uh. and four. Okay, so let's try to put it all together and put it into the kick. So you're gonna make it one move. So you wanna make sure that we can see, right, your toes curling back at the end of your kick. So when you come up, remember, lift up your heel and bring it into position as you kick and come down, okay? So it's gonna look like this, one and two. Okay, so make sure that foot is flexed. That's the most important part. Okay, that foot flexed out, and the toes curling back part, right, eventually over time, you're gonna get more and more used to it, right, as long as you're aware of it, okay? So let's try this, five right, then five left. Uh, I'll show the side view, front view, okay? Ready, right leg behind, five session B. Uh, On my count, five kick. Now. Uh, Three. Uh, seven. Uh, now. Pass up. From here, change your stance. Ha! 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 
Get your legs. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is the turn and kick position. So from here, what we're gonna practice today is pivoting. Okay, so for pivoting, you're gonna start with your knee up. This time your toes do not have to be back, but your foot still has to be down. Now, when I turn my body sideways, I'm gonna do a few things. Number one, my knee is gonna go to this side and my foot's gonna come up like this. Now, in order to get to that position, the leg that I'm standing on has to go from this way, to sideways, to backwards, okay? So my standing leg is doing a full 180 degree turn, from forward to the back. So up to the back before I extend my leg, okay? So let's aim for two of those things first, okay? So let's focus on bringing your knee to the side and raising your foot when you turn your body. So up and turn, try to get to this position before you extend your leg. Let's work on it in two steps. Step one, step two, and then you come down and step back. So okay. we're going straight up to the start? Yeah, so let's make it one smooth motion. So you raise your knee and you turn your body, right? Make it smooth, but if you stop, lose your balance, and you try to turn, I think it's gonna slow you down a little bit. So bring your knee up and turn straight away, up, turn and come to that position right away, okay? Let's try it out. Ready? One, two. Ah. 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 Okay, from here, let's change your legs. Ah. Ready, one. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Okay, so if at home, if you find that you're landing backwards, this may be a sign that you're not turning enough. Because usually when you turn your body all the way to the side, landing backwards is awkward and you don't really want to do it. But if you only half turn, landing behind becomes easier and it becomes your main habit, okay? So make sure your body goes from forward all the way to the side. And see my leg and my hip is in front of me so that landing forward is natural, okay? It should be your natural response to want to land forward. And please do practice landing forward instead of behind, okay? So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take that and we're gonna move it up to head level, make it a roundhouse. Okay, so you're gonna raise your knee a little higher, you're gonna turn and raise that foot and knee up to your head level and extend and pull it back in. Okay, so this one, the concept is the same, you just have your knee up higher and you pivot at a higher level to raise your kick. Okay, so if you're a little bit sore still, start at your chest level and slowly work on raising your knee and your foot. Okay, as you go throughout this kick. We're gonna do a set of five on each leg, okay? So remember, get that knee and your foot still at the same height, but now up to the face level. All right, so should be. Ha! Ready, one. Ha! Two! Ha! Set! Ha! Now! Ha! Pass up! Ha! Okay, change your legs. Ha! Ready? Very good. Check out your legs. Move your hips around. Okay, so the next thing we're going to work on today is the double front kick. Okay? So today, for the double front kick, we're gonna talk about it in the concept of switching. So there's two types of double front kicks. One involves you jumping up like this. Okay. The second is a switch, okay? So for the jump, at the same time as you are kicking, you're taking off. That's not the one we're doing today. The one we are doing today is after you finish your first kick, you keep your leg in the air. 
Now, as you bring this leg up, you're going to drop this one down with the same amount of force. Switch. So you're replacing your first leg with the second one. Okay? So this does not involve that much of a jump. Okay? It's a switch. Right? In fact, for this one, to get the timing for your jump, just put one leg in the air, change your leg, change your leg, change your leg. And now, start sticking your leg up, kick, 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 kick. Once you get the hang of that, going from one and two, two should be a little cup. Okay? So, let's start with that. We're going to do double front kick with your right leg behind first. Find touch with me. Uh. Ha. Ready? Ha. Ha. Two. Ha. Ha. We're going to take that same concept and we're going to turn it into that double turning kick. Okay? So that same switch from knee up chamber is going to be knee turn chamber. Okay? So, first thing we're going to practice is a single turning kick, switching into turning kick position on the other leg, and then kicking. So, it's going to look like this. Knee up one, kick. Put your legs. Okay. Okay, so we'll practice that a few times to practice the switch. Okay, so a few things to know when you're switching is when you switch your legs, the leg that you put down, I'll show you from the front actually, does not go straight down. If I put my leg down this way, I'm gonna have trouble turning my body. I want the leg that I've brought up to come down this way to the side. Okay, so take note, when you're putting your leg down, don't put it down straight. Try to turn your leg while you put it down. In fact, just try this. Turn in kick position, put your leg down to the side, raise your other leg, turn in kick position. It becomes much easier. Turn your leg, bring it up. Turn your leg, bring it up. Okay, try that a few times on your own. When you get used to that, then bring it up. Switch, 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 and switch. Okay, so let's practice that a few times. You're gonna go from turning kick position one side to turning kick position the other side. We'll add on the kick after. Ready? Right leg up. Switch. 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 Okay, so this takes a little bit of getting used to. It takes some core strength. Not so easy, right? But the cleaner you get this movement of switching, Right? The cleaner your kick is going to be, because it's very reliant on your stability and your ability to jump and change your legs and turn your hips. Okay? So, now, when we add on the kick into it, there's some momentum behind it. So if I do a full turn kick the first time, the second one will not be able to turn as far. So if I turn all the way on the first one and I try to turn the second one, it's going to go upwards. Okay? Because I have to fight against the momentum that I created, right? So instead of doing that, we're gonna go half turn for the first one. So we're gonna do a half turning kick, and we're gonna switch your legs into the full side position for the second one, okay? So for this one, it's gonna be one two. So we'll start with just our knees first before we extend our legs. It's gonna be knee up 45, then jump up, twist. Okay, get that knee over center, okay? So just knee up, knee up, but, Half twist, full twist. Okay, try to do that. One, two. Like this. Ready? One. And bring that shoulder over too. Ready? Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, let's add the kick on to it. So give that first one a quick snap and go one, and then switch to two and stick your leg up. If you guys are kicking air, remember, be careful not to kick at full strength because you're kicking with no resistance. You can injure your knees by kicking too hard, okay? So give it a softer extension. So 
Just go kick, kick. Don't have to uh, as hard as you can. Okay? Okay. Let's begin. Ready? Ah! Ah! Set! Ah! Ah! From here, let's change your legs. We're going to go back to that knee up drill again. This time with the other leg behind you. So remember, 45, and then jump up, full turn. Okay, ready? Let's try this out five times. Knees only first. Okay, ready? Now. Get a quick water break. That's it. Good night. Good job, everybody. Okay, guys, so the last kick we're going to go through today is your side kick. Okay, so for this one, right, you want to make sure you tuck in your knee. So earlier when we did the turning position, you brought our knee up and we turned sideways. So your knee was in front of you. From here, the only real difference between a turning kick and a side kick is that your knee comes into your chest to the point where your heel faces forward. So for example, when I'm doing my, tur my turning kick towards the target, it's gonna look like this. With my knee in front of me, my shin's facing forward. Now, for my side kick position, I'm tucking my knee to the point where my heel faces forward before I extend my leg towards the target. Okay, so you tucking in your knee mainly serves the purpose of pointing your heel at the target so that you can push it out like a stop. Okay, in the same way you would push your knee down and hit the ground, you push your knee forward, out. Okay, so we're going to practice going into that position, then extending your leg. So from position one, then to two, and then to three. Ha! Those are going to be our positions. Okay? Okay, let's try that. Instead of five on one leg, five on the other leg. Ready? One, two, three. Ha! One, two, three. Ha. Ha. One, two, three. Ha. Ha. One, two, three. Ha. Ha. One, two, three. Ha. One, two, three. Ha. Right, it's important to watch your balance. Let's do one last one. One, two, and three. Ha. Good. From here, let's work on the other leg now. I'm going to go to the other side. In case you're noticing, right? Whenever I turn my body, I'm getting my knee and my foot to the same height because I want to have my foot going forward. Right? If my leg starts lower, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have my leg swinging up. So swinging my leg up sideways isn't really a kick, right? You have to push your knee forward. So that's why you want to lift up your foot at the same height as your knee if you're kicking straight forward. In this case, we are. So ready from here, position one, two, ready, two, three. Ha! Okay, ready one more time. One, two, three, ha! One, two, three, ha! Okay, last thing we're gonna talk about, make sure your foot goes from forward all the way to the back, right? Just like that turning kick we talked about before. <laughs> ready, one, two, and three, ha! Ready? Last time. Up. Turn. Kick. Ha! Okay? So in order to get your side kick going higher, remember, it's all about raising your foot. Okay? So after you get to here, if you want to raise your foot higher to kick, get that foot going higher and bring your shoulder back as you extend your leg for height. Okay, from here we're going to move on. Basic forward, Jay. In there. 
soon when you're ready for match up. Take this time to catch your breath, guys. Hello, everyone. How was your class, everyone? Are you guys feeling great now after the training? If not, let me know. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna start the diet quiz. I found a few um, uh, fun diet quiz. I will ask you about those. You guys can just um, type in A, B, or C, all right? The first one, since we are in Taekwondo, we are in martial arts, we have to have proper diet as well, right? We have to know what to eat, what not to eat, okay? Uh, first one is, can we, sir, the music, you guys come closer a little bit here as well. Um, the first one is, Which one of the following after school snack is healthy? A, uh, a, a bag of salt and vinegar crisps. B, a pocket of sweets. Three, an apple cut into slices. A, B, or C? You mean three is C, okay. Great, C, everybody knows that, right? So no chips, no pizza. Uh, next one, that one was easy. Protein is found in meat and we need it for healthy muscles. Which of these foods typically contains the most protein? Uh, a, breakfast cereals. B, a chicken sandwich. Three, lettuce, sorry. C, lettuce and tomato. Which one has more protein, the most protein? B it is, thank you. Next one. I'm gonna do eight of them, all right? We're going to do the third quiz. Flavored drinks are filled with sugar, which is bad for our tea. Which, which drink should you choose to have instead? A glass of water, a can of coca, uh, cola, a bottle of lemonade. Which one do you think, Master Kim Lim? Should I give away the answer, sir? Um, uh, maybe the answer is wrong. You know, I got a few wrong answers here, too. Just tell them. The answer should be A, sir. Oh, oh did you see these answers here? Oh, you, away, yeah, you know. <laughs> I can't make up for this. All right. Um, Yes, A, that was easy too. Let me give you a hard one now. Um, I got this wrong myself. What is the minimum number of portions of fruit and vegetables you should try to eat each day? A, two, B, four, C, five, two, four, five. C, B, C, B, C. What, which one do you think, Master Kenneth? I guess A, but I feel like I'm wrong. Two, four, I think it's five. Be. What do you think? You I saw think the answer. <laughs> I, 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 that's not good, sir. Uh, oh. Five. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> no, five is not the, the answer is A, B, or C. Okay, good. Yes, the answer is C, actually. I, I thought it was B, too, but C. Hmm. Um, next one. Next one is, which of these foods contains the most vitamins and is good for your health? A slice of cake, a fruit salad, a cheese and tomato pizza. A, B, C, sorry, forgot to mention. A, slice of cake, B, fruit salad, C, cheese and tomato pizza. B, 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 B. Good, everyone knows. That one was 
not too bad easy. Okay, what are the, next one. What are the main food groups? Chocolates, sweets, chips, and crisps, okay? Milk and milk products, fruits and vegetables, cereals and bins, meat and fish, fats and sugars, that's B. And C is fruit, vegetables, salad, and water. What are the main food groups? Main food groups. Chocolate, sweet, nobody thinks it's A. I thought it's A, sweets, chips, <laughs> pop, pizza, they're delicious. No, no A, everyone's going for B and C. Yes, the answer is B. Milk, milk products, fruit, fruit, vegetables, cereals, beans, meat and fish, tofu, fats and sugars. So those are the four groups, uh, main foods. Next one, the la is this the last one? One, two, three. Yes, the last one. Which foods do we need to eat every day? Some food from each group, that's A. B, some fruit and vegetables only. C, some food from all the groups, but not fats and sugars. A, C, Sophie, A, Jelena, C, what else do you think? This is a hard one, right? Mm. That's it? Everyone's quitting? All right, yes, the answer is A. We need to eat from all those four groups, main four groups. You know, our body needs all those. But the thing is, we cannot have one group too much and another group not much. So we got to have balance in our diet, right? A, that's right. So that's uh, enough for today. I have more. We, we can do the rest tomorrow. Uh, thank you all for uh, participating. Most of you got the right answer. And I hope you guys eat healthy. And um, before you go, before you go, do you guys want to admit, tell me if you have a bad diet, If what's the worst thing you can't control and you eat, you keep, you know it's bad, because we know, most, you see, you know all the right answers, but are we actually um, following the knowledge we have, or do we have that self-control? Tell me if there is this food that you can't control and you're just going to eat, you don't care if it's bad for you. Tell me, pop, sweets, pizza, whoa, pizza, yeah, yeah. I've uh, my new rules at here and at third eye is here in our studio no more pizza allowed to this studio even if we stay hungry here even if everywhere is closed we're not going to eat pizza so chocolate candy yes chocolate chips ice cream mm. I've have I've lots of ice cream in my fridge but I don't eat them I don't know why I buy them and every time you have guests they come eat them Ice cream is hard not to eat. Master Kenneth, do you, do you like ice cream? Do you eat ice cream or you, you have good self-control there? Actually, the reason why I don't eat ice cream is because I'm lactose intolerant, so oh. I actually can't have it. Otherwise, you like it. Well, I actually love ice cream so much. So oh. yeah, How about pizza? Do you like pizza? Do you have? Do you eat pizza? Sometimes, sir. Sometimes, but, yeah. Uh, I think it's more than I should, so I'll mm. try to cut down. More, more yeah. How about uh, Katty? Kathy, do you like uh, chocolate chips? Yes. Uh, do you eat them? Yes. Hmm. Who doesn't like it? Yeah, I got. Um, I'm. I'm. We are. We're trying to change our snacks to healthy food. We got some dry fruits, and uh, instead of cookies, and uh, you know, so we're gonna stay. We're gonna try to stay healthy, and uh, water, water. Uh, we'll talk about water tomorrow. We're running out of time. Thank you all for joining. We will finish the class now. And if you have any um, question, type in. 
I will close the camera and we'll go through questions. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow at YouTube. Thank you.